Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about protecting my Triumph Street Triple R. So let's quickly take a look at what's in the boxes and get it installed on the bike. First on the list is a swing arm protector kit. Second is a fork protector kit. Next, let's quickly take a look what's here. is the cover protector so it has several things that it comes with all right so that's one right. that's two and third part that's three it also comes with a bunch of new longer bolts. Okay, and as you can see, that's a uh, genuine uh, Triumph kit. And last but not least is a frame protector kit. Right, so you get left and right side. All right, and a bunch of hardware. You have longer bolts, and you have a couple of bushings. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything installed on the bike. All right, first uh, I'm going to install the swing arm uh, protection kit. It's super simple. It's got uh, the 3M tape. Um, first, before we do that, go to clean the surface with a provided wipe, All right? Wait for it to dry. Then I'm just going to uh, place it and get get the proper location. All right, it's got the bend, so it's pretty easy. Um, once you do that, I again that's my personal preference. You can do whatever works for you, but you know once once the 3M is uh, removed, you kind of don't want to move it around mu that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the end of this once I know the exact placement okay and uh, get the 3M removed I mean uh, the tape protection removed and then carefully place it once the uh, alcohol evaporated Push it in place, hold it for a few seconds, nice and tight. And that's it. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Next up is a fork protection kit. Quick note, if you look at the kit, uh, it is a little different on, on both sides. So it, hopefully you can see it right here, if it'll focus. Uh, it has uh, this big indent. And on the other side, what you have is you have a washer and a more flat side. So, so this side goes over here. And the side was the washer goes on the opposite side, okay?
Next up is a cover protection kit. You get uh, two cover protect, uh, protectors on the right side. Go here and here, and you get one on the other side. Um, you also get three bolts per cover. There is one short bolt that will go uh, on that cover. Okay, so let's go ahead and get uh, the specific three bolts removed. So it's here, here, and here, and then uh, we'll go into the small cover. Okay, so the cover is installed. Just a quick note again, uh, each cover gets uh, three new longer bolts. So you have one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Um, the lower bolt uh, on this big cover here is a sh short out of the out of the six. So just just to take uh, mental note that this one is a shorter bolt and the only short bolt that is supplied in the kit. Okay, let's go. instructions all we really need to do is just remove uh, these two frame bolts um, this is the frame protector that goes uh, on the right side you will see there you can't really mix it up at all uh, if you take the uh, left side it it doesn't fit at all so uh, like I said there's there's no way to really mess this up uh, the kit also comes with two bushings you don't need to use bushings uh, on the right side, the bushings go on the left side. Um, you also get four bolts, uh, one really long one, one short one, and two of the same exact sizes. If I understand it correctly, and I'll double check, the two of the same sizes will be going on the front bolt uh, on both sides, okay? And you also get two nuts that will also go on the on the front side, on, on, on both, on the left, on the right side, okay?
as I mentioned earlier, um, the kit comes with one short bolt, two of the same equal uh, size bolts, and one super long bolt. So uh, on the right side, the short bolt goes in the back. The equal, the two of the equal length, they're both gonna go in the front uh, with a nut on, on the end of it. And the long one will go on the back of the other side. Um, do take your time with the front bolt. It's super tight here. It's really hard to get to the uh, rear nut, but like I said, it's, it's all obviously very doable. I just did it, it's not a big deal. Just uh, take your time because it is super tight. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, so quick correction. On my previous statement, I said that the long bolt, the longest one will go in the back. It's actually gonna go in the front and the shorter one will go in the back. Alright guys, so that will do it for today. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.